So I wanted to ask you about this in the context of what you were saying in terms of how Israel is uh, expanding this uh, field of conflict, but doing so not in an advantageous position, actually quite the opposite. I'm curious on your your thoughts on this. Well, it's interesting that one of the go-to moves that Israel is considering right now as part of the Hezbollah displacement is to breathe life back into what was called the Southern uh, the Southern Lebanese Army, SLA. Um, Israel created this after their invasion in 1982 and their occupation of Southern Lebanon. They created the Southern Lebanese Army. Um, and it was a horrible group of uh, disaffected Muslims, Christians who raped, pillaged, murdered. Uh, they had no support, and uh, Hezbollah defeated them uh, and kicked Israel out in 2000, and then the SLA uh, ceased to exist. Um, but Israel is going back to that model, which means they're, they're, that's all they know. Um, you know. The United States has a policy that treats Hezbollah as a terrorist organization, and we have been trying for some time now by enacting sanctions that target uh, Lebanon um, and sanctioning Hezbollah to split Hezbollah out of Lebanese, the Lebanese body politic. Um, but it hasn't worked. Hezbollah has actually become a viable political party, uh, one of the most powerful political forces in Lebanon. It is part of the Lebanese government. Um, you know, and, you know, what, so what we're saying is that, you know, when we say we want to, you know, push Hezbollah aside, we're declaring war against Lebanon. And that's that's the difference in the past.